Our top story tonight, two new cases of the measles are confirmed in Oregon and both are being linked to PDX where an infected traveler passed through. Our Fox 12's Tyler Dumont is live in studio now with much more on this alert. Tyler. Well, Bonnie, we can tell you those two people diagnosed with the measles passed through Portland International Airport earlier this month, according to the Oregon Health Authority. Officials say they believe the two people were both on board an international flight from Amsterdam. It was Delta Flight 0179 and landed in Portland two weeks ago on Saturday, October 12th. Health officials say both people infected were not fully vaccinated against measles, but they are warning that it's highly infectious and can easily spread in close quarters such as a commercial airliner. Now one passenger told us today that he thinks instances like this prove the importance of vaccinations. It's pretty vital as we've seen throughout the years. There's certain things that uh, science has come out and been able to find that it's it's a priority for, for kids to get vaccinated against certain, certain diseases and things like that. So we made it a point to do that. The health officials say of the two people with measles, one is from Lane County and the other was visiting Washington County. So there are more possible exposure sites than just the airport. Those exposure sites include restaurants and businesses in Eugene, Tiger, Beaverton, Wilsonville and Lake Oswego. We have posted their exact names and addresses on our website, which is KPTV. Com. Now, so far this year in Oregon, there have been 24 cases of the measles. 14 of them have been in Multnomah County. In Washington, they've had a total of 86 cases. That's the most that state has seen since 1990. Now, of those 86, 71 of them were in Clark County. Their last measles outbreak was declared over back at the end of August. Now, symptoms of the disease can include fever, cough, runny nose, red eyes, and a rash on the body. If you think you're showing signs of these symptoms, health officials say you should call your doctor or clinic before going inside to prevent infecting others. Reporting live in studio tonight, I'm Tyler Dumont, Fox 12 Oregon.